Hey everyone, um, this is Laura from The Paper Soul, and I have been going crazy trying to get this Valentine's Journal done so I can get it up and running. Um, so, I finally finished it. My goal this time from my last video was, uh, or my last journal, was to um, keep this video a little bit shorter. <laughs> and so, we're going to see how I do. Um, so, I'll try to be quick. This is a clasp envelope um, that I made, and it is seven and a quarter by about five across in size. And um, the kit that I used is from Calico Collage, and it's called Valentine's Love. And uh, it is two signatures that I did this time. I also tried to keep it a little bit more simple um, from the other one that I did, but it still kind of got a little crazy. Uh, the flowers um, that I have, I actually made those, and I'm going to be having those in my shop at some point. Um, but I used those, and that was a lot of fun. Um, the laces and some flat back pearl trims, um, and then, of course, I've got the pretty flowers on the spine, and then there's the back of it. I did use a, um, hitch post, um, and I kind of double tied my, my bow there. So, I'm going to get into the book. First page, I just kind of kept it simple. I like to highlight the, um, kit. Uh, pictures that we have um, from kits I like to actually highlight those and not and try to keep those pretty pure because they're so pretty um, what I did do um, on these pages is I sewed coffee dyed paper to the back of each of the printouts and so um, that's how I did that this time so I sewed that all around and I scalloped the edges of all the papers uh, here's like a little tuck spot. I just, a lot of this paper that I coffee dyed this time around came out really, really interesting and fun. Um, I've got some fun little drips and stuff like that on it, and so I didn't want to really cover it up. And that's just journaling space. Um, so a card from the kit there, and then some extra paper. Yep. And... That's like a little card there. I just got some extra um, coffee dyed paper. This is a little card from Prima, and I have a little tuck spot there with a heart. I am loved. More pretty paper there. Just some little, um, this is from the kit. Fun little Valentine's greetings. It's a little envelope there, and I just stuck in some extra paper and tied it with a bow flip spot there or flip up you are irresistible there's that page little card for, uh, and then here I have um, like a little envelope and it serves as a tuck spot there it's a fortune teller because everybody wants to know what's going on with that boyfriend what's he thinking what's going to happen are we going to make it Extra paper here and this belly band, journaling. I did a belly band here. Um, and I just have a fun little, plain little ticket. Punched out a heart there. Um, extra paper here. I oh. uh, got my little, this is the middle of the first signature. And I have my little hearts on a string there. And you have to have hearts on a string for a Valentine journal. You just you just do. I made this um, little little tag. Loved you yesterday. Love you still. Always have. Always will. Put a little organza, pink organza on that. So that's like a little pocket there. That envelope. This opens up. Got some little goodies inside. And this tucks into a miniature envelope, which also has a heart to hold it down. Pull that out, and then you have like a little, put like a little note there. That's good. And that, so I can try to keep it simple. This is a little um, flips back there, the Rita Donnelly flip. Um, and then I made a pretty little tag there. Put some other things up in, in that little tuck spot. Here, 
I made a little booklet. And some of the papers that I also added to were my papers um, that I had. And I actually found um, some Valentine's paper. Um, it was from Hobby Lobby. It's Vintage Amour. And it's by the Paper Studio. So this is like some really pretty vintage-y um, Valentine's papers. And I just kind of came across it. So I was really excited about that because I was trying to plan my book. It's so funny. You don't know. You have no idea. You have in your mind what you want to do. You start collecting items and then you bring it all together. But you have no idea what the final um, project is going to look like. So it's kind of exciting just to kind of see it come together. That's another simple page. I just cut a little heart out and it automatically cuts that little heart out there. And so I just put him there at the top. But I just thought that was pretty, but simple. This is actually just glued down. This was fun. I did hearts on a string. You got to do hearts on a string. And so it's loose. And so, you know, if you need to journal, you just move those out of the way and do your journaling. But this um, coffee paper was so pretty, the way that came out. And I just thought, well, this can be a whole journaling page. And um, you can just move those out of the way. It's just fun. This is another pretty page. Simple little tag I made. Little journaling spot. Little banner. So that's the end of my first signature. I made a little um, heart booklet. I put all kinds of fringe so you can just pet it. Says lucky in love, but you can just pet the fringe, pet your little heart book. Anyway, I just made this out of um, extra coffee dyed papers. I just love doing that, little booklets. All that journaling spot or space. So that's fun. So you can journal on these pages. And see, these pages were, the coffee paper was just too pretty to cover up. Now, you can certainly journal over it. Or you can get extra um, papers and just kind of paper clip it in so you can see the pretty paper. This was really, I like this, how that did. I did that on a um, baking, oh, a cooling rack. I actually did it on a cooling rack. So that turned out fun. Just a simple page, a little card from the kit. Um, let's see. On this, I took the little tickets in the kit and just kind of secured them back here and um, glued them all together and a little extra space there for journaling and a little card that says love a profoundly tender passionate affection for another person and then I made a little tag here um, jar of hearts and I just cut out some hearts there and that was fun that was a lot of fun to make Put that there. Just kind of simple. You can see I just kept it pure and simple. I love those lines. That's for journaling. The pretty paper. This is some paper I already had in my stash. So I just did like a little journal spot there. And it's like a little pocket. And that's a card from the kit. And just some extra paper. To journal on and I just did oop, and I just did like a um, a little music heart I just thought that was cute you can put a picture back here if you want I just thought it was cute just sitting there like a little accent piece I did some lines there I do it with a credit card and just kind of dip it in the ink or dab the ink and then just use a ruler and just kind of make the lines and sometimes they'll kind of be scattered which I like that effect um, so this is the middle of my second signature, and again, you got to have hearts on a string for a Valentine book. I love that coffee stain there, how that dribbled across the page. And so I didn't want to cover it up, and so I have a little flip pocket here. Uh, I've got a little heart here that I put a little paper, extra paper on. So you can write on the back and in there. And I actually took some vellum and uh, stamped out my little heart stamp and then put some little 
actual cutout hearts in there. So they'll move. You can kind of get them to move around a little bit. You know, in there, they kind of shake around. And um, But that was a lot of fun to make. And so this makes it look like the hearts are kind of coming out of the jar, jumping out of the jar. And that's a good little journaling page there. It's very, a very pretty kit. And this was some stickers that I got um, at Hobby Lobby. I just happened to, again, when I came across my paper, that vintage paper, I kind of lucked out and saw some stickers with it. And I thought, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but surely I can put something together. So I put this belly band down the middle, and so I have like a little tuck spot on each side. So you can just kind of tuck little things in. And I just did like a little heart with some coffee paper there. It's just like an accent piece. So I did like little hearts on a string here. Um, and I just layered different, punched out a bunch of hearts. Actually, I didn't punch it out. I traced it. And, and so I just sewed them down the middle so it's like little paper hearts strung together. And each little one is kind of like that. It's got all the little. And you can even write on that. You have to write small. But you could do it. Put little things in there little secret love notes anyway that was fun sewed it right down the page that's why i had to do this little belly band there i had to hide the the seam on that so it's just pretty and simple there's some more of that coffee paper there that i just love how that turned out with that baking cooling rack and this is the end i mean i went pretty fast for me that's fast so this little tag I made says, One day someone's going to hug you so tight that all of your broken pieces fit back together. And that was an anonymous quote. I just thought that was pretty and cute. And there's some extra paper here. I couldn't throw it away. It's like got where I put a doily on there when I was staining my paper. And I thought that was cute. And then this little tag here says, With love... And then on the back it says, I want to be with you till my last page. A.R. Asher. That's a quote from A.R. Asher. And this happens to be my last page. So there's that. And the back of my book. And there you have it. So I also did some eyelash um, trim. I left some of the um, strings off of the sewn pages. I just left it kind of very organic there. Got some hanging down here. Um, but this was a lot of fun. I like the size of this book, and um, I love how whoop, I love how it came together. And um, like I say, it was more simple than ooh, I'm untying it. It was more simple than my other one, um, but it still had a lot of lot of elements in it you know lots of journaling space I still did a lot of tags and I put a lot of effort on some of the pages that I was creating around this kit so that was a lot of fun and I'm hoping I can get this loaded up in time for Valentine's because today is Sunday and um, so I got to get it loaded up and everything so anyway I hope everyone has a happy Valentine's Day and um, Thank you so much. If you did make it to the end of this book, I tried to make it, like I say, I tried to make this a faster video and everything. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and a great week, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.